Stacey and Keith, the main roadblock is money. How do you make condos safer without raising fees on residents? Lawmakers had the entire legislative session to answer that question, but after two months, they came back with nothing. Eight months after Surfside and Florida lawmakers have not been able to agree on a single new safety measure. The issue here comes down to money. The House sponsor wants condo associations to set aside cash for repairs, but the Senate sponsor says that could create crushing financial burdens for condo owners. Martin Langesfeld lost his sister and brother-in-law in the collapse. It just shows that in the state of Florida, money is more important than lives. Lawmakers promised to take the issue up again next session, but Alan Douglas, the executive director of the Florida Engineering Society, says that delay could cost lives. And our concern is that there are many out there that are ready to fall now. Pretty insulting that they're saying they'll work on it next year. Governor, what do you say to the Surfside families who say that inaction is unacceptable? I, I was, um, you, you know, very receptive to, to seeing some reforms. We I asked Governor Ron DeSantis so about Surfside as he was signing an education this. bill Tuesday. The official cause of the collapse has still not been released. If we knew that answer, Governor DeSantis says, lawmakers uh, may have been able this, to accomplish uh, more we, sooner. Uh, we want to make sure, of course, everybody's safe. We want to make sure that, that we honor those families. And if there's something that, that can be done, I would like to see it on my desk. So tonight, there is still no statewide requirement to inspect older condos, and there is no mandate that associations put money aside for maintenance and repair. Well, Moss, as you pointed out, I mean, significant changes is going to cost money. In some cases, lots and lots of money. But in the meantime, What's being done to help make sure these buildings are safe for the people who live in them? So a little bit of good news to report today. The Speaker of the House tells me that many counties are being proactive. They are going out and inspecting older buildings themselves. Now, we are in the process of reaching out to leaders here in the Bay Area to see what they are doing here locally. That's a complicated issue, for sure. Thank you, Masa. And if you have something you'd like Masa to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline. There's the telephone number on your screen, 1-800-338-0808.